second there are plenty of scouts for them. Masters of the voice are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout? To defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Good. You're Dragonborn, and you're the only one who can stop Alduin. Don't forget it. Right. Good thing they've all read... We'll look around Sky... Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search.
Wind. Sky above. Voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from... Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Do not be so sure about that. As for me, I kept... No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it. It is called Dragonrend. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shall... Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for... When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you... In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But... Thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He is our leader. He surpasses us. He lives in seclusion on the very peak. He speaks to us only rarely, and ne only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. you to my Strunmach, my mountain.
Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovahkiin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Mm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although... Not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? <laughs> you have much to learn of the... There is nothing else but philosophy to Adova. It is no accident that we do battle with our... Th there is no distinction between debate and... C but you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Drem, patience, I am... This is the most... Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal master... Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Aldu. The Nords of those days used the dragon rend shout to. 
It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Mm, not intentional. I knew better. Which is why I have lived here for thousands of mortal years. Tid Krent. Time was. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here, with the Elder Scroll that was used to... You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. You have it. There is no question. Go then. Fulfill your... Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the sign. Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. Glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfor, Sori, Birker. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use him. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, I will not need it. we will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me. Tarudis. Him him palive to u in dan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. No. Hold Alderman on the wing. 
Sister Hawk, grant us your sacred breath to make this contract heard. Be gone, World Eater. By words with older bones than your own, we break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. We shout you out from all our Fuck endings you. unto the last. It worked. We did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls.
used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally... Realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar, a challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me, fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. Did you find the Elder Scroll? What happened when you took it back to the throat of the world? He must have returned to Sovngarde to feed on the souls of the dead. If you don't find him soon, he'll return stronger than ever. Ah, yes, yes, we must think. He must have some means of traveling to and from Songard, but no tale tells where that might be. Very true. I wonder, do you know the Jarl's Palace in Whiterun? Yes, exactly. M most people don't know that it was originally built to hold a captive dragon, hence its name. You could trap him there, although it might be difficult to persuade the Jarl to allow you to use his palace as a dragon trap. I'm sure you'll manage, though. If you can defeat the World Eater, surely sweet-talking the Jarl of Whiterun isn't beyond you. I'm afraid there's a further problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good. But did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Hmm? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperors. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Haven't you been listening to me? Only oh, the... There, he devours the souls of the heroic dead to feed. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War, crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. That's all, hmm?
We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Have you decided to do the right thing, Dragonborn? I knew we could count on you. Glad to have you back on our side. If they had their... The Greybeards are... Think about it. No. Trust me. There is no need to... The blades have always... Now our purpose is... Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them. The faction that... There's no worse enemy to humankind. When I was young, they believed... Turns out we... I was one of the few, but then the dragons returned. And that we were sworn to protect the dragonborn. The Thalmor hunted us, but we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. If you find anyone... Remember, though... Being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. What? Do you need something? something?
damn those Grey Manes to oblivion. They want to back the Stormcloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Of course. You already saved Whiterun from that dragon. But I don't understand. Alduin. The World Eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such... Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need... Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon... No. I can't risk weakening... Then... But getting both sides... Maybe. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council... I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. No lollygagging. This is how you repay our trust. Parthenax's trust, his noble spirit, the wisdom of ages, his deep understanding of our existence, all gone, and for what? A mindless vendetta urged on you by a cabal of Akaviri barbarians. They're gone, before even my philosophy has tested me on the breaking point. We are men of peace, and you are not. Alduin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? 
I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked? You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeard... I see. The dragon will lead... Parthenax has made the... Even the Greybeards must bend. So be it. We will see if they still remember us. Breath and focus. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. You're the one who saved the Fire Festival. I remember. A wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. But I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you. I'm look telling like you. Might. Ulfric's planning an attack. Make it quick. I get enough delays from the Greybeards. What do those. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as the they are getting to be a. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Uh, you may have a point. I'm always surprised by how seriously the Nords take these things. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar... You're that one from the college. Heard about you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. A letter? Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword? Dull old blade can barely cut a button. Next Imperial I see is dead. I thought I gave you something to do. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Next Imperial I see is dead. Damn faithless Imperials. Hey, unblot it. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cut. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart, the divine smile on a charitable soul. Let me know if you see anything you like. My master can be a bit short-tempered. Good to hear. You can be a difficult woman to find. Thankfully, those couriers... I have some thought. On the top of... Then we need... The final step... If you can bring me these materials... The file can again be made whole. That's what you're here to do. The ivory produced... They're able to grind it... The finished material has the delicate nature... On top of the throat of... They say the... 
The original file was made from this snow. The final tempering of the nearest mo with the heart of one. It's difficult to explain to the layman. Forgive me if I begin waxing alchemic. Take a look. All right, then. Assorted fruits and vegetables, all yes, delicious and affordable. Hello, Sale. I'm glad to see you. God, I was just thinking about you and your husband. Is that so? And what were you thinking exactly? Everyone says you're l Of course I... Uh, don't let my words cut you too deep. I've just been working. Jarl wants it. Getting the real sword. If you find that sword, traveler, I'd be grateful. I don't see... To bring out Shore's bones. I might... Every... I re if that makes any sense. We accept the risks that come with our faith. But I'll keep you off in mind. Of course. Thank you, Tanya. How's business today? Well, I'm not going to close. And you'll see him brought up most of the guys and ask for the people for more. Don't forget, you find Queen Freyvis a sword. You should be able to reward you.
So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... No, you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat here, here. Special. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Ismir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that. Thalmor, bitch. I say she walks, or we walk. Maybe so. But bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. We need to show Tullius we won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe, nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? One moment. Here we go. I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial Justice. Master Argir, are We're here are you to going arrange to a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons. Nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. Enough posturing, Tullius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? General Tullius. Jarl Ulfric. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. By Talos, the stone's on this one. 
You're in no position to dictate terms to us, Tullius. That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. Ulfric, you can't be taking this demand seriously. We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. Besides, Yaro Layla will never you agree will do whatever to. Whatever I decide is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? Yes, my lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I am sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Riften, Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye, we haven't forgotten Markarth Tullius. But I accept the Dragonborn's invitation to this council, and I at least will negotiate in good faith. The council was your idea, huh? So tell us, what do you think Riften is worth? Yes, with Markarth in our hands, we'll be able to raid the Imperial supply lines out of solitude. You heard what she said, Ulfric. We get Riften back. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your fine words. Think hard about your loyalty, sister. I expected better from you. I know how this works, Tullius. I've learned the value of Imperial promises the hard way. Never again. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Aldwin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Riften on these terms. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender your march to us, and take Idgrad Ravencrone with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Marthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true daughter of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial Control, Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Empire will withdraw its troops from the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Markarth. Jarl Igmund will go into exile, with Thongvor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Markarth. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarlship. 
You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Now that the Empire has been driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. That silver belongs in Skyrim. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. This is quite an achievement, Dragonborn. And General Tullius. Riften is ours. Jarl Balgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Ving. Winged Snow Hunter, as I read it. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. I'm glad you were able to negotiate a truce, but I don't trust all of it. You break this word as
Never should have come here. You can't move! Lord?
I am Lua Al Skaven. Who are you to disrupt my work? Be gone, or I will add you to my army of the dead. I think it's sweet Lua is so worked up over her dead soldier. Yeah, but raising Draugr to take on both the Imperials and the Stormcloaks? That's just crazy. True. Huh? Huh? Rise from your graves to defeat this worm!
can't hide. I knew I'd find you.
I shall have vengeance for the death of my husband. Rise! <laughs> could not raise him, but I will raise an army to avenge his defilement.
They burned his body before I could raise him. It should have been returned to me. You will not stop me from... once again. Come, Fury, my love. Take this with our gratitude.
fresh fruits and vegetables. All delicious and affordable. Did you use no. F? Look at that. It. I'll present this to the Yara later. As for you, that. let me show you some smithing techniques. Take a look. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Arabians have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. All hail the Dragonborn. We've got all the miners. Then by my right, I grant you a personal house call. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want... What do you need, Guardian? Let's not waste any time. What is it? Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to... Very well. She seems like a... If you find any more candidates, bring them here. You there. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance.
I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most helpful during this time. May I just say it's a pleasure to have you leading the college, really. Can you... can you possibly help? Major, Skyrim was not Jezargo's first choice. Jezargo, you must be... Jezargo is working hard, but cannot do it. Jezargo, but Jezargo works... Jezargo will... You tell Jezargo when you are ready. Ha! <laughs> you can res... Let's see. It is a special... Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work.
There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. You need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am. I have a lot of respect for Ambaris Randar, but his views are a little extreme. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the files That's straight away. Master, look. It's the file. What? How? It doesn't matter. Look. It's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. Oh! Oh. He is gone. But thanks to you, he died knowing his life's work was not in vain. As am I. You acted very nobly in helping my master realize his life's work. Thank you for that. As for myself, I've always been content to simply be an alchemist. I fear keeping the file would just remind me of Norellian's obsession and how it consumed him. Here, keep it. You are as much a part of its legend now as Coralmil was. I hope it brings you the happiness that my master desired. Now, how would you like me to align the file's properties? I'm not as skilled as Coralmil, so I'm afraid it will only ever refill with one type of liquid. I understand. Good day, friend. Keeping well? I'll never have met. Take a look. I have a decent mind for potions, but I've also learned how to craft magical items. I understand what potions do, but I don't always understand how they do it. Symptoms for my supper is all I ask. I ask only for a little charity. a few coins to help someone who's got nothing. I ain't asking for much. Just a few sep- It's so good to- Up to no good, are we? 
I'll... Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Ancient tongue, you are Dovahkiin, dragonborn. A few septims for my supper is all I ask. Good thing you did for Nurelion, retrieving that... for him before he died. Man was obsessed. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now the time is Sister. You haven't faced that pirate captain yet, have you? Safi? By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. To kill a pirate captain on our own ship, no less, simply masterful. You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available ad But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Oh, good to see you, sister. Gearing up to kill the Emperor? <laughs> Exciting times. Exciting times indeed. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients?
It's as rewarding as it is dangerous. Let's see what I can show you. The shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition. From another time. Need something? Until next time, sister. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titan. Need the second is as good as dead. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and once meat has been killed, it's... Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. It's a rare plant. Found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. I heard the Gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Sky. This city is crawling you know, with Imperial Wolf. Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. What is it? Lazy and useless, a lot of them. They can't even keep the Stormcloaks in line. No way I trust them with the Emperor's life. You worry too much. The Emperor's never been... Stop right there. What's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these... By Azra. I'm... I'm sorry. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna will be overjoyed to meet you. another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. 
The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm. You're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like... Oh, yes. The Emperor has requested... But the cookbook only... The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique. Well, then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice, then? Oh, very well. I think we should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. Okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. My choice? Hmm. All right, then. Tomatoes. Simple, yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe, after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Aren't you even the least bit nervous after everything that's happened? You mean the wedding? My cousin's apparent murder? An unfortunate misunderstanding. No more. Cold mead, hot tempers. These things happen. Quite. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. assassination. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident, and I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful, but befriending one? Now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as Emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... <laughs> By the gods, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the Emperor! That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. 
Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill her, and make sure there's nothing left to bury. What in the bloody hell? the yard. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart woman. Go fiddling with it. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruff. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in the city. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Staying out of trouble, kinsman. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning in a- Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time.
I heard you were at the wedding of the Empress cousin. In solitude. Gods. That must have been horrible.
going to die today.
I'm going as fast as I can, you stupid she-devil. I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid. Here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. I don't know, Babette. Looks like she may have suffered a head wound. Best not let her out of our sight. <coughs> alive! You're alive! <coughs> Thanks to this. <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. M Mero. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, by Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up, wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. And to prove my... <gasps> you must kill me. is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. 
We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mayor in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that... You mean there's still a chance? But how... <laughs> All right then, go. Ah, but... Listen. Wait and come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. Good afternoon. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of By Sithis, but you are persistent. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the... The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. What is it? I said I didn't wish to... be... disturbed. Oh. What is it? I said I didn't wish to... be... disturbed. By the gods! You... you're alive! But I had heard... your sanctuary! Please! You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Maro. He... You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship... Kill Titus Mead II, as contracted. I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again.
<sighs> and that's the last one. for this. Come on, let's get something to eat. Gods, I'll be glad to see the last. Ah! Dragons, murder, rebellion, and we sail right into the middle of the Emperor. I think we'll all feel better once we're back out to sea. Won't be long now. Found you. Lieutenant said you could see the smoke from Whiterun. Yeah, I'm glad we can finally stand down. I'm getting tired of looking over my shoulder all the time. Nothing to do now but sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip home.
And once more I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told you, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? You will hear me out, then? Good. You will kill me. And I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it, hmm? Now, on to the business at hand. Don't even think about it. Yes? There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Oh, Fred! Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Aha! You're back. I know, I... My friend, you may not... Ah, but you care. Your payment wait. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Your payment awaits. And don't worry. 
I'm not stupid enough to betray you. We had a deal! I'll spare Is For someone now. there? Is someone there? Please! Uh, uh, do something! Uh, uh, you think I'm afraid of you? This should be good. Uh, committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart woman. Trouble?
I'm so tired. Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Now, my Mallory is an... You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Things proceeding well, listener?